Surrealism was a form of art that became popular in the 1920s. The Surrealist movement lasted only until about the 1940s, but the idea of Surrealism has been popular ever since. Surrealist art seeks to channel the unconscious as a means to unlock the power of the imagination. The Surrealists believed that the rational mind repressed the power of imagination, weighing it down with taboos and societal rules. Surrealist art is a rebellion against this. It's not supposed to make rational sense. Although Surrealist art uses fully recognizable, realistically painted images, they're removed from their normal contexts and reassembled into some kind of ambiguous, paradoxical, or even shocking framework. The art aims to provoke some kind of sympathetic response in the viewer, where they acknowledge that even though things seem highly illogical, there is an inherent sense to what they're seeing. The work of the psychologist Sigmund Freud was really influential for the Surrealists, especially his book The Interpretation of Dreams, which was published in 1899. Uh, Freud more or less invented the idea of treating dreams and the unconscious as tools to understand the mind, that the unconscious mind was actually more important than what the person thought consciously. The Surrealists took from this that there was this vast landscape of dreamlike symbols and images that actually meant something very significant, and that's what they wanted to explore with their art. It's hard to define the rules that make something a surrealist piece of art, especially because all the artists at that time tended to explore their own kinds of images. There were some common uh, motifs uh, among the various artists. The idea of uh, dreamlike landscapes like clouds or distant uh, horizons or the ocean are very common motifs. Uh, and there were a lot of nature images Salvador Dali is probably one of the most famous Surrealists, and he was a big fan of juxtaposing animals into scenes where it didn't quite make sense. Surrealism is still pretty popular today, partially due to programs like Photoshop that allow you to create bizarre dreamlike scenes relatively easily. So in this assignment, try to imagine how you can create juxtapositions or unexpected combinations of images, creating sense from the nonsensical and meaning from something illogical or dreamlike. 